Hello future engineers and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay? So our topic for this video are the shearing stress, the flexural stress, and the deflection. Okay? And we will solve this problem from the May 2018 Civil Engineering Board exam. Okay? Before we we start to solve the problem, let's have first a brief background for our new topic which is the deflection and the shearing and flexural stress is already discussed in our previous videos okay so a deflection is a displacement of uh, of object which is dependent on the various reasons like loads and loads which is the dead loads and the live load or an improper designing okay improper designing meaning uh, shape and the chemical composition of the material should be considered, okay? Though it is not possible to 100% restrict the deflection, so we have some standard range which should be should not be exceeded, okay? So, I think let's start to solve this problem, okay? So, a pole 12 meter high is fixed on ground it is subjected to a uniformly distributed lateral load of 0.6 kN per meter. This one. Okay, picture dito. Okay? And then given the pole outside diameter is 273 uh, mm. And then the inside diameter is 255, 255 mm. And the modulus of elasticity is equal to 200 gigapascal okay so number one compute the maximum shear stress in the pole number two compute the maximum flexural stress in the pole number three how much force in kilonewton is needed to be applied at pre and to prevent its displacement okay so from number one and number two uh, we need to compute the maximum shear and maximum flexural uh, stress and okay so maximum shear stress and the uh, maximum flexural stress okay so to compute this this two okay ang primary na kailangan natin dito is to compute the maximum shear and moment due to this load okay so balik tayo sa basic na ido drawing muna natin ang shear and moment diagram okay so, from this one, magkakaroon tayo ng reaction dito. The, the, the reaction is only here. Sa fixed end lang natin siya. Fix lang dito sa ground. Okay? And then, the value of the reaction is equal to 0.6 kN per meter multiplied by 12. Okay? And then, other reaction is the uh, moment reaction. Okay? Since, uh, due to this load, uh, ang tendency niya is to rotate rotate counter ay clockwise direction okay so the, the reaction uh, uh, react na to, to counter uh, counter clockwise direction para hindi hindi siya umikot okay ika counter lang niya yung clockwise direction na to okay so that's it let's try to draw the uh, shear and moment diagram though uh, sa atin i think alam naman na natin na uh, shear and shear and moment maximum shear and moment for the cantilever type is at the peak support though para sa mga nagsisimula pa lang okay so we will still draw the shear and moment for this uh, problem okay so let's draw okay and this is the the zero shear and then due to due to this reaction this one due to the reaction meron din tayo aangat ang ating shear doon, doon from 0 aangat siya which is that is equal to uh, 0.6 times 12 okay that is equal to 7200 newton okay and then less the downward forces since 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 ang ginamit natin dito is this one uh, left side uh, left side going left side is positive this one so going right side is negative okay so from 7 to babawas natin lahat ng loadings dito 
which is 72 less 0.6 uh, times 12, that is 0 at pre-end this one, okay? So, since uniform tayo dito, ang degree of curve natin dito sa shear is a uh, first degree curve, okay? So, let's proceed naman sa uh, moment diagram, okay? So, kung moment diagram natin, this is 0. And then, due to the reaction, this one, okay? So, meron tayong moment at the pre-end. Okay, which is, that is equal to 0.6 kN per meter times 12. Okay, that is the total load and multiplied by the moment arm. Okay, which is 12 over 2, this one. Since ang total load natin is acting on the center, and then multiplied by the moment arm, which is 6. That is equal to uh, 43.2 times 10 raised to 6 newton millimeter. Kinonvert na natin siya into newton millimeter. Okay? And then, so this one negative naman tayo dito going to the right. And then the shear diagram natin is a positive. So, e, e, so e, uh, from negative 43.2 times 10 raised to 6, uh, we will add this area, the area of the shear. Okay, kung 7.2 rito times 12 and uh, times 12 and then multiply, uh, multiply it by 0.5 since it is a triangle. Okay, so in short, from 43.2 times 10 raised to 6 newton millimeter, we will add this one. Okay, so negative and positive, that is equal to 0 at the pre-end. Okay, so since dito first degree card tayo, Okay, so dito sa moment diagram is second degree curve na tayo dito. Okay, so nasolve na natin the maximum shear of 7,200 newton and maximum moment of 43.2 times 10 raised to 6 newton millimeter. Okay, so let's now start to solve. Okay, the number 1, compute the maximum shear stress. Okay, so from formula, maximum shear stress is equal to V over A, where V is the maximum uh, shear, and A is the area. So, meron na tayong maximum shear, but wala pa tayong area. Okay, so we need to compute first the area of this cross section, yung cross section niya, which is dito, this one. Okay, so to compute, the area of the the hole this the area of the hole less the area of the hole okay so pi r squared r capital letter r that is the area of the hole and then pi r squared the small letter r r that is the area of this hole okay and then substituting okay then the value of the the area is equal to 7400 64.42 mm squared. So, meron na tayong uh, maximum shear. Meron na tayong A. We can now directly substitute. Okay. And then, maximum shear stress in the pole is uh, 0.965 megapascal. Okay. So, let's proceed to compute the uh, number 2 requirement, which is the maximum flexural stress. Okay. So, in formula, Maximum flexural stress is equal to MC over I, where M is the maximum moment and C is the distance from the center of the cross-sectional area. Okay, this one up to the uh, surface area of the tube. Okay, kung saan yung pinakamalayo sa kanya from its center. Okay, hanggang doon. Okay. So, ayan, ayun yung CN, wala pa tayong value ng I, which is the moment of inertia. But first, what is a moment of inertia? Okay, so a moment of inertia is defined as the capacity of the cross-section to resist bending. Okay, so it is the capacity due to its shape. Okay, this one. Okay, so ano ba ang moment of inertia for this uh, cross-sectional, for this uh, hollow circular tube, this cross-section of the pole? Okay, so the cross from, from the formula, 
Uh, the moment of inertia is equal to pi over 64d raised to 4 or the outside diameter less uh, the inside diameter raised to 4. Okay? And substituting this one. Okay? Pi over 64 and d is equal to 273 mm and and then the d small letter d is 255 uh, mm to the port and then the value of i is equal to 65.11 times 10 raised to 6 mm to the port so meron na tayong m c pwede natin i-compute which is equal to r over 2 and then i meron na tayo so we can now compute the value of the flexural stress or the maximum flexural stress okay so kaya sinabing maximum dito okay maximum gagamitin kasi natin yung maximum na 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 moment maximum moment and the uh, uh, yung c natin is located at the maximum uh, at the maximum dito kasi ang maximum niya is at the surface okay habang lumalapit siya dito sa ating center is uh, lumiliit yung value ng stress. Okay? So, that's it. And then, the location of the maximum uh, stress is at the support. Okay? Maximum moment. Since maximum moment in shear is at support. Okay? So, direct substituting tayo. M is this one for 3.2 times 10 raised to 6. And then C is 136.5, galing yan dito, 273 millimeter divided by 2. And I is 65.11 times 10 raised to 6 mm to the port. Okay? So, calculating the maximum flexural stress in the pole is equal to 90.57 mega pascal. Okay, so let's proceed to number 3. How much force in kilonewton is needed to be applied at pre-end to prevent its uh, uh, displacement or that is what we call the deflection. Okay, so oh, if ito yung pole natin and then due to its loading, this one, this loading, the tendency of the pole is to bend. Okay, magbe-bend siya niyan ng ganyan, okay? And then, meron tayong uh, displacement at pre-end or that is the deflection. Okay, and uh, we will denote it as the deflection due to uh, uniform load, okay? Or deflection sub U, okay? Meaning, deflection due to its uniform load, okay? So, uh Ang requirement is mag-a-apply tayo ng, ng load at pre-end to eliminate or to prevent the displacement. Okay, so if ito yung pole and then nag-apply tayo ng load. Okay, nag-apply tayo ng load at pre-end. Kasi sabi niya dito at pre-end. Okay, the tendency of that load is uh, to deflect the pole going to the uh, left. Okay, and meron din yang uh, displacement or the deflection. And we will call it as deflection uh, sub C or deflection due to the concentrated load. This one. Okay, so para ma-eliminate ito, para ma-eliminate ang deflection nito, ang initial deflection niya na ito, kasi naglagay tayo ng load. Okay, so this deflection should be equal to this deflection. Okay, so ayan ang magiging working equation natin. Okay, so the deflection due to the uniform load okay, is equal to the deflection due to concentrated load. Okay, so from there, meron na tayong magiging working equation. Okay? Okay, so uh, from, from dito, from, from dito, hindi pa natin alam ang deflection due to this uh, uniform load. Okay? Okay? So, hindi pa natin alam itong maximum deflection nito. Parehas. Both the uniform and the concentrated load. But we can compute uh, uh, from the formula. Okay? So, meron tayong uh, tabulation dito ng this case of scenario. This uh, 
dito sa case ng problem natin. Since ang problem ang ang diagram natin is uh, parang cantilever type siya which uh, ito lang kasi is nakatayo is for siya but the behavior is the same. Okay? So this one. Okay, so from this from from our case uh, dito sa cases natin dito sa sa tabulation natin may different types of loading siya. Okay? different types of loadings and uh, from the different types of loadings meron din siyang different formula to solve the uh, deflection okay so in our case uh, due to the uniform load that is uh, this one okay uniform load siya okay and due to concentrated load ito siya concentrated load at pre end okay and then to compute the uh, to compute the maximum deflection uh, for the uniform load that is equal to the distributed load or the uniform load multiplied by L over 4 over 80 I or this one okay and then for the concentrated load at pre end which is equal to PL uh, raised to 3 over 3 EI or that is equal to this one okay so let's now uh, substitute for the uniform load okay but, but first uh, uh, you can now cancel this one the EI okay since nasa, dena, uh, nasa denominator siya for this one the denominator siya for this one you can now cancel EI and EI also the the L raised to 3 and dito may may E1L, okay? Since, uh, lalo na yung mga nasa uh, board exam para hindi na kayo mag-type ng napakahaba. But, dito sa solution natin, ay ipapakita na lang din natin, okay? So, yun, direct substitution tayo dito. So, 0.6 Newton per millimeter, that is this one. Okay, kinonvert na natin sa, sa Newton millimeter lahat ng unit. So, L is... Uh, 12,000 millimeter raised to 4 over 8 E is the 200 gigapascal and I is this one. Okay, that is for the uniform load and then due to the concentrated load, canon then so P, unknown pa ang P natin, so L is 12,000 12, mm raised to 3 and then 3 EI. Okay, and will give us a value of P is equal to. 2.7 kilo newton okay so i think that's all for the uh, solution of this problem and let's have a recap so the maximum shear stress in the pole that is equal to 0 0.965 megapascal okay and then the maximum flexural stress in the pole that is equal to 90.57 megapascal and then uh, how much force kilometer is needed to be applied at pre end to prevent its displacement that is equal to 2.7 kilonewton okay so i think that's all for the topic for today and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe below and hit the bell button for the new upcoming engineering tutorial videos Thank you and keep safe always, everyone.